Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome again in the session related to the mobile phone security. And I'm Dr. Digvijay Singh Rathod, Associate Professor in the Cyber Security and Digital Forensics Division of National Forensic Sciences University, which already have received the status of institutions of national importance. So today I have a plan to discuss about very important concept in the either in the web application security pen testing or in the web application security pen testing that is called the interception of the request. Uh, I already discussed in, in the past also that if somebody wants to do a security pen testing, then you may have a two or three different ways. The one ways would, could be you'll open the web browser or sorry, you can open the web page inside the web browser and you will find the different inputs like a text box. And what you what you normally do is you, you either provide a valid input and you will see the response. You will enter the invalid inputs and you will see the response. And on the basis of the response, you will come, to, you, you normally conclude that the vulnerability is available or not. But in some of the cases, if you don't find a text box or any kind of, I would say a web control on the web page, then the, some of the people, they will use address bar of which is available in the web browser. In, in, in the in the web browser so what what they normally do at the end of in the last part of your of your web of the URL uh, they'll try to add some valid or the invalid inputs as a part of a query string and then they normally send such request to the web server and they will see the response and on the basis of the response they will normally decide that the vulnerability is available or not but in some of the cases suppose if you don't don't wants to to rely on the inputs which is available on the web browser or on the address bar if somebody somebody want they can send the request they can intercept the request using the any of the the available uh, different proxies proxy tools and accordingly they can modify the inputs and they will submit that request again to the web servers and also can get the response back so the interception of the request is very important I would say the concept of or it is one of the the very well known toolkit or a tool for the pen tester for the pen testing purpose and today we have a plan to discuss the bob shoots configuration of bob, bob shoots in uh, that how to use the use use the bob shoots in the case of the mobile application security pen testing now let we always compare that if you wants to do a security pen testing in the web applications how it is deferred in the case of the mobile security pen testing. So let's see the journey in the case of the web application security. What we normally do, we normally open the web page inside the web browser. And either we, have, we normally try to find the, the some of the input controls like a text box or, or some other controls on the web browser, or we try to find the query string at the end of your URI or the URL in the address bar, bar of your web browsers and we're trying to to add some of the valid or invalid inputs then we what we normally do we'll submit the page that the, that page will, will will reach to the web server web server on the basis of the logic which is implemented by the server side scripting as a part of the web page either they will talk with any of the web services third party web services or the api or they may either insert, update, or delete, or may retrieve the data from the database. And accordingly, they will give the response to the, to the web browser. And that response will render in the, as a part of your web browser. This is what the normal journey of the web application. So when we talk about the web applications with the proxy, which you can see as a heading of this topic, we will have the same scenario you will take one web browser you will open the web page inside the web browser then what you normally do you will send the request valid request and what you uh, what you will do before that request will reach to the web server you will add the proxy in between so what the proxy will do proxy will intercept that request once the request is got intercepted inside the proxy you have a first choice either you can edit the request parameter you can change the request parameter it may possible that like if you have a username and password web page login page with the web browser you will click you can enter the username and password 
and you click on the OK, that request will reach to your Bob shoot or any of the proxy. The proxy will intercept that request. So once your request is got intercepted, irrespective of a get or a post, you can once you intercept that request, you can add it those variables. So you what you normally do, you normally add it the request, and then what we normally do, you can forward that request to the to the web server. So the beauty of the interception is after in intercepting the request, you have a chance to modify the different request parameter and then you can submit to the web server. Now what the web server they normally do on the basis of the logic which is implemented using the, the server side scripting as a part of your web page, either again they will talk with any of the API or the web services or they can do a insert, update, delete or retrieve data from the database and they will give the response. Now the beauty is if you want either you can reflect that response to the web browser or you can again intercept that response to understand that what response you will get. The only purpose to intercept the response is see the response when it is got rendered to the web browser you know that will be displayed in the form of a HTML page. The beauty is if you intercept the response also you will come to you, you you are able to see that what the response is normally carry so accordingly when you when you plan your next pen test you can accordingly change your request parameters and, and and submit your 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 i would say submit your request so that is what the web browser now one more thing i i, I would like to discuss that is that there is also the one more important purpose to intercept the response also Suppose this response is a web service response or a response in the form of the JSON. So once you intercept the JSON variable or the JSON array as a part of your proxy, you can see that does this JSON is a plain JSON or it is an encrypted JSON. So accordingly, you can plan your next test case for the pen testing purpose. So this is what the scenario in the web applications. I would like to mention two things that you only have the web page on your uh, that will be rendered inside your web browser and the entire logic along with the source code is deployed normally deployed on the web server but in the case of the mobile applications we have a quite different scenario so let's see that in the mobile phones i think we already discussed earlier also you have the mobile phones that mobile phone is installed with the with the mobile application that mobile applications may be a standalone mobile applications in the sense that the mobile applications that will be installed inside your mobile phones along with the database. So, so the your mobile applications will store everything inside your, your database only. Or in some of the cases, the the some of the part of a data that will be stored inside the database, in the case your mobile phone is not connected with the internet. Take an example, then in some of the cases, the mobile applications they will store such data inside the database. In, 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 in some of the cases, what the normally mobile applications will do, whenever you start the mobile applications, they will send the request to the web server. Okay, so on the web server side, we always have the Windows or the Linux server or any of the Windows or, or the Linux computer. In, inside that computers, we normally install the web server. The web server have the application framework, the application framework have the web applications where your logic has implemented. And that logic, that applications may talk with the database engine or they may talk with the third party API of the web services. Now the request which was sent by the mobile applications, those requests normally handled by the web services. Okay, and what the web services will do, the web services ultimately that will be implemented as a part of your web applications only that may either talk with the database engine or either it may talk with the third party API and and as per the, the implementation of a server side code, you know, it will do the processing and give the response back to the mobile application. Now, I would like to mention two things in this case that you have a two variant of, of a mobile applications. One of mobile applications which was which may be installed inside your, your mobile phone and your mobile applications that will not do the communications with the internet. That's a one variant. The second variant could be your mobile application is installed inside your mobile phone and they also have their own database which will be the part of your mobile phone. So it will store the data inside 
the database which will be the part of your mobile phone along with this they will also send the request to any of the server which is available on the internet and also get the response mostly in the form of json so these are the two variant because why i'm discussing about this two variant because whenever we talk about the role of intercepting the request then you need to see the two variant one is the mobile application is entirely installed inside the mobile phones and it won't do any kind of communications with the web server the second variant could be your mobile application is installed inside a mobile phone but that mobile applications they will do the communications with the with the web server also obviously by calling the web services but obvious now let's see that in the case of the mobile applications what could be the role of uh, of a proxy so let's say that you have the mobile phone mobile phones have the mobile applications and have a database now if you open the 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 interface of the mobile applications inside your mobile phone and you will enter any of the valid request and you will send the, res the the request now when you send the request this is the case when your mobile applications is doing the communications with the web server which is deployed somewhere in the internet suppose your mobile applications is installed inside a mobile phone and your mobile applications won't do any communications with the internet or any of the web server then i don't think that there is a use there is any role of proxy or there is any role of intercepting the request the proxy comes in the pictures when your mobile applications do the communications with any of the web server which is deployed outside the out in, in somewhere in the internet so you will open one interface of the mobile applications inside your mobile phone you will you will enter the username and password now suppose your mobile applications they will do the authentications using the web services so you will submit the request that request will be intercepted by the proxy so what the proxy will do now when something is got intercepted by the proxy then you have a you have a two option either you can forward the request without editing the parameter or the second option is option is you will edit the request you will add some of the parameters you will edit the parameters and then what you normally do you normally submit the request so the proxy will on behalf of your mobile applications will talk with the web server so proxy will send the request on behalf of the mobile phone and that request will reach to where to the web application and this request will be handled by the web services only so this is the scenario so what i'm trying to discuss is if the mobile application is a standalone applications installed inside your mobile phones along with the database and if your mobile applications don't do any communications outside the mobile phones then there is no use of the proxy server but in this case your mobile applications is sending the request is it using some web services to call to use the functionality which is deployed on the web applications and get the response in this case you can put the proxy in between and either if you want you can forward it or if you want you can add it the the request parameters and you can ask your proxy to submit the the, the request once the request will reach to the proxies if you want you can intercept it you can open the request or sorry or open the response and you can study that what kind of response you want if you want you can allow that request to be displayed on or reflected on as a part of your web application also so this is what i would like to discuss with this diagram simplest diagram now let we'll have we'll discuss the implementations of uh, the bob shoot which is a very well known i would say uh, the the tool for the interception purpose available in the market so we'll implement we'll see that how do we configure the bob shoots in the santoku also in the how do we intercept the request of any of the applications which will be the part of your jenny motion so how do you intercept the request either with the help of the santoku or with the help of the windows machine okay so let's will back to our our santoku os now remember one thing before we'll talk about the santoku i would like to discuss a few points the, the i i i found that whenever we do the lab exercise related to the configuration of bob shoot of uh, inside the santoku or the windows machine and whenever whenever you try to intercept the request which was generated by the jenny motions 
the many students many people they have complained that uh, we are not able to intercept the request so before you configure your jenny motion or configure a bob shoot inside the santoku or inside the windows machines what things you need to take care so the first thing which you need to see that that which instance of the jenny motion emulator you have a plan to run so if you check that in my case i have a plan to run the instance that is called google nexus 4 so i would like to run this instance so what you need to do you, we already know that the any of the instance if you create in the inside the jenny motions what the jenny motions they normally do it will install it will create the virtual machine with respect to the instance like you can see that i have a two instance google nexus 4 and the google nexus 7 now check your virtual machine you will find two instances one is a google nexus 4 and the second one is a google nexus 7 so uh, if suppose if i wants to install take an example one more instance in the jenny motion so whenever you click suppose if i'll click here install so what the jenny motion will do jenny motion will uh, uh, i'll say download the entire virtual machine file from their server and it will deploy that virtual machines as a part of your virtual box so the first thing which you need to see this is is need to check that which instance of the jenny motion emulator you have a plan to to start so in my case i am going to start i already started my i think google nexus 4 instance is a virtual avd uh, android virtual machine is started as you can see that i have it is on so what you need to check is you just need to check in your virtual box just click on that instance settings once you open the settings check the network now i have what i have found that in the case of the jenny motions you if you will normally get a two adapter as it so the adapter 1 and adapter 2 now when you check the adapter 1 please check that the adapter has to be adapter 1 it's has to be host only adapter and the name of that adapter should be virtual box host only ethernet adapter hash 2 that you have to check if you just drop down you will find two adapter one is a virtual box host only ethernet adapter just see that you will find here a hash 2 this is the first thing you need to check it has to be host only adapter now check the second adapters i think in your case uh, the most of the people they will find the adapter as an nat if it is a nat please change to the bridge adapter so adapter 2 has to be it has to be a bridge adapter and when you select the bridge adapter they normally take a realtek rtl a pci adapter so before you use a bob shoot or if you face any problem that you have started you are sending the request from the jenny motions and that jenny motion request is not intercepted either as a part of your santoku or in the windows machine check that in the adapters you have host only adapter with the ethernet adapter hash 2 and in the adapter 2 just check that it has to be a bridge adapters with the with the realtek rti pci adapters that you have to check then the second part is the second part is suppose if you have a, have a plan to use some other instance of uh, the jenny motion emulator suppose if you have, have a plan to use take an example like a google nexus then let me check that uh, what is the adapter situation this is a host only and it is a ethernet ad adapter hash 2 see adapter 2 is here net so don't forget to change it as a bridge adapter once you click on the bridge adapters you this will be by default it is get uh, selected so that's only you need to check the second thing is in the santoku you also need to check that settings move into the network now most of the people they have which adapters they have a net adapter so please move from net adapter to a bridge adapter okay and the real tech pci adapters will be set by default so you just need to check that the second adapter of your jenny motion avd android virtual machine it has to be a bridge and santoku is also of a bridge that only you need to check so i think you don't face any problem that is sure so after checking this two configuration what you need to do is first you need to check the ip address of your 
Santoku machine. So I think my system is got it is got so now let me check uh, the IP address of the Santoku control alter T and IF config. So as you can see that we have the IP address is one time one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one one zero. Now let me open the Santoku and in the Santoku you just click on the home button. You'll find the settings here. So I'll click on the settings. You'll find the Wi-Fi to click on the Wi-Fi. Then you find the wired SSD. When you find the wired SSD as a connected status and you'll find the tower also. What you need to do is you just need to click the wired SSD and hold the key for a few seconds. Okay, so if you hold the, if you see, if you click on it, it will open this like forgot uh, the, 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 the connection. So don't click on it. You just hold your key, mouse key, and you'll find one option is called modify network. Now click on the modify network. In the modify network, now remember one thing, the IP address is 192.168.10.198. So this is also the bridge connection. This is also the bridge connection. So this is like a 192.168.0.110, which is your Santoku. And if you check your, I would say, Jani motion, the, in, uh, the IP address of your emulator, then you'll find that 192.168.0.109. So both are in the bridge network. If suppose this is a bridge network and this is a net, then you'll find 10. Dot 0 0.2 dot something or 10 dot 0 dot 3 dot something. Okay, now click on the show advanced option. Now when you click on the show advanced option, you will find the proxy settings. It shows that there is no proxy setting right now. It means that suppose if I'll click on the browser and if I'll, I'll, I'll suppose if I'll write something like uh, if I'll open something like this one, you, you will see that your internet is working very well because we have not set any proxy. So again, let me move into the settings. Wi-Fi, hold the mouse, mouse left key. You'll find modify network. You'll find click on the show advanced option. Just click on instead of a no, or none, just click on the manual. Now, when you click on the manual, it will ask for the prox, proxy host name. Now this proxy host name is nothing but it is IP address of your Santoku, which is 192.168.0.110. Okay, as you can see here is 192. This is the IP address of Santoku, 192.168.0.110. And if you check here is also 192.168.0.110. Now tab, and you'll find the proxy port is obviously 8080. And again, tap. Okay, other things we don't want to wants to change. Uh, don't enter anything inside the bypass proxy four. Don't even you don't need to change the IP settings as in DHCP. Just keep it as it is, and save it. Now your proxy is set. Okay, now back to your Santoku, and now we need to start the Bob shoot. So click on the knife image then you'll find a santoku inside the santoku you will find a pen testing and inside the pen testing you'll find the first option is called the bob shoot so you don't need to install the bob shoot it is available in the santoku only so let me click on the santoku this will take a few minutes to open so let will wait i think i have the older version of the santoku if you want you can update uh, this version in the bob shoot uh, sorry in the santoku also if you want so let the the Santok Bob shoot is is open now. They will say that new version is available. I'll say okay. Okay. Now inside this uh, Bob shoots, you know, you, we just need to click on the proxy. Inside the proxy, you will find option. And inside the option, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add. Add what 8080. I would like to listen from the port number 8080. 
and here instead of the loop back only click on all interfaces it means that let this bob shoot proxy that will listen the any all the interfaces or the any request which comes from the 8080 port so just click on uh, the all interfaces and place okay they will say that you are you sure you want to listen on all interfaces i'll say yes okay now after adding this option please check just verify that this button is checked or not that you need to to verify so now your bob shoot is ready to intercept the request which comes from the jani motion now you just click on the intercept check that your intercept is on or not so your interception is also on now open your bob shoot i would say let me make it minimize okay and open any of the browser and let me check that this will be work or not google.com oh it is already got intercepted so as you can see that the request is got intercepted by your bob shoot see your request is got intercepted now if you want you can send this request to the intruder if you want you can forward the request the rest of the things that you can do whatever you want now remember one thing if you open any of the application inside the santoku and if that application is trying to access any of the functionality which is deployed on the live server somewhere in the internet everything is got intercepted by the bob shoot which we have installed inside the santoku okay so let's see that this is the first part which i want to demonstrate now instead of uh, intercepting the request in the santoku if somebody want they can also installed the bob shoot as a part of your windows machine and they can also intercept it so i will do i i'll do one thing let me start the bob shoot inside my windows so i'll click on the bob shoot and let me maximize it i'll say next start the bob shoot so i'll i'll i i have shown that how do you intercept the request in the bob shoot which will be the part of santoku now we are going to demonstrate that how do you intercept the request in the bob shoot which is a part of your windows machine obviously just click on the proxy options and in the options again you need to do the same thing click on the add you just write you just need to enter the port that i would like to listen from the port number 8080 i'll i i would like to the bind address would be any interfaces and you just say okay click on the yes and uh, oh okay okay they will say that failed to start the proxy service on 8080 okay we'll do one thing uh, we'll close it we'll uncheck it we i have checked uh, this this you no know, loop back loop loop back address with the 8080 so what they are trying to do is that they don't they they, they won't allow us allow me to you know set the same port that was the reason only uh, let me check that yes all interfaces and okay so now i have enabled that let me listen from star dot it means that the any request from the port number 8080 that's the simplest thing is then uh, click on the intercept interception is already on now what i need to do is inside my jenny motion click on the settings wifi hold your mouse manage network and here we have set the ip address of your santoku virtual machine instead of that i need to set the ip address of my windows machine so just cmd this is your windows machine ip config we have entered So what is my IP address is 192.168.0.101. Okay. So well, do that. We'll do one thing. We'll open our chain emotion, and here we can write 101. So now it's 192.168.0.101. 192.168.0.101, and I'll save. Simplest. So now instead of, uh, you know, now I can start intercepting the request using the bob shoot, which will be the part of your 
windows so now i have minimized this one it is already on let's will open something inside uh, okay the request has got intercepted as you can see that i have you no know, entered something and that request is got intercepted by whom by my bob shoot which is a part of your windows machine so this is what the easiest demonstrations that i want to make with uh, i would like to do with you okay and i did the demonstration of both the now let's go ahead in some of the cases when you visit uh, https uh, websites then in that case you are not able to intercept the traffic in that case you need to install the bob certificate so what you need to do is you just need to move into the into the web browser and you just need to write http colon slash slash burp and you just entered now when you entered you will find at you know here that you know download the bob certificate ca certificate so as you can see that the bob certificate is downloaded now what you need to do is you just move into the home page and click the home page button and you can find that the certificate is got downloaded as you can see that the ca cert dot dar is it, it is already downloaded now what what we what you have to do is you just need to click on uh, the file manager inside the file manager you will find the downloads now when you click on the downloads you will find that uh, i will say a certificate you just click on that certificate you know it will ask for the certificate name so what i am going to do is i am going to write c a r c e r t dot c r t that is what the extension of any of the certificate okay so i am going to give the same name almost and let me check this one i think just 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 a minute i did some mistake okay so we have this one just a minute okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write uh, c a r c e r t dash one dot c r t c r t is the extension period it was a d e r i'm just going to rename it and i'll say click okay and they will say that c a r c r t one dot c r t is got installed now while you while, while you are going to install the certificate in uh, in some of the cases they will ask for the pin so it's very simple that create any of the pin and after creating the pin you know you can easily insert your certificate that is a bob certificate certificate inside your jenny motion and after this if you open any of the http web uh, websites as a part of your web browser you know that you can intercept either the bob shoot which will be the part of your santuku or the bob shoot which will be the part of your i would say a windows machine so you just need to install uh, the this uh, the the bob certificate to intercept the http request so let we'll back to our presentation so this is what i would like to discuss with you in the today sessions we have seen that the importance of the the request interceptions how it you can do it with uh, the web applications and how it is got different when you do the same when you apply the same concept in the mobile application and we also seen that how do you configure your bob shoot and what bare minimum things we you uh, that you needs to keep in your mind while you set the bob shoot uh, you will configure or intercept the request for for the jenny motions you just need to check that both the virtual machines they should be in the bridge connections only the, the 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 third thing is i also shown that how do you configure how do you intercept and i, I also so, uh, shown that in some of the cases when you have a https request when you have a secure https request in that case how do you install the certificate and after that you can intercept the request so i think this is what enough for today uh, we'll definitely meet in the next sessions with some more details i would say a thank you